Hi, so in the last slide, we were discussing about web design. And as I mentioned, web design is a part of the process in making a website. See, web development is divided into web design and web development, and web development is the part with all the functionalities, and web design is the part that shields all those technicalities and makes it visually presentable to us. Web design is a process of creating websites, which it is, and what does it include? And it includes the visual presentation, it includes the layout, the interface, the page design, the page graphics, and the content. Basically, when you open a website, what you see is uh, where the menu is, or where the content is, or what the colors are, or what the graphics are. All of that is basically the web design. The basic elements of a web design are the visual elements are uh, the layout. The layout is that where the content actually is, where the menu is, where the buttons are, where the actual content is, where the contact form is and all that. Color, see, uh, whenever you see a technical product, it's not a rainbow, as in it does not contain all the colors. It contains a very concentrated contrast of colors that are consistent throughout the product or throughout the website. Graphics, mostly the work of graphic designers, you know, making the logo or all that graphic for the website to make it presentable. Then the fonts, which comes in typography, what style, what font, what size will the heading be and all that. Content, then again, the work of content writers, all that um, writing article or pictures in your website. So how do you make your use your website user friendly. So these are some of the factors. It's not necessary to use them, but mostly people use them. See, the first one is navigation. Navigation is, um, you know, you make it easier for the person, for the people to find your web pages, as in where the next pe uh, page will be. If you've seen some downloading websites, you'll know that it's somehow hard to find where the next page will be. That shouldn't be the case. Then it's multimedia. Some people use GIFs or audio or video files. Compatibility basically means that your website should be as good on a laptop as on a mobile or any other device technology. But there is no one technology for design and development, so you should keep upgrading yourself. And interactive. Um, you might have seen that some websites have a comment box or a share on social media link or a heart or a feedback form that actually makes the user feel good about themselves. And um, it's a factor in making your website user friendly.